to Sam and Max. Who? The antics of Sam and Max, freelance police, have filled me with a euphoria the way only a good Saturday morning cartoon could have. Like most ignorant pups at that time, I foolishly let this one slip through my fingers during its original run on Fox Kids. It wasn't until the series had its second appearance as a Fox Family placeholder that I realized what a gem it was. And although I plan to give one character the traditional familiar faces treatment in the future, I have been overtaken with the urge to make this impromptu list of some of the best prose and poetry that is the dialogue of Sam and Max. He's a fancy talker. This is Sam and Max's top 11 observations, revelations, and spiffy one-liners. Number 11. Do you realize what this means? No, but let me guess! The Earth is going to superheat and explode, thereby reducing everyone and everything to an imperceptible haze of drifting atomic particles. That's right! And that alone is motivation enough for us to go willy-nilly with the controls. We gotta cool this puppy down. Looky there, Max. It's a horde of murderous inner dwellers. When there are five or more, the correct term is a clock. Number 10. I'd like to swing by the Mount Olympus gift shop again. I think I overpurchased. Me too. This footlocker I bought doesn't even have any feet in it. That's Pandora's box, old pal. You've just unwittingly liberated all the ills and horrors of society. It's begging. Who's gonna notice? Number nine. As is our custom in these matters, in order to ensure only the purest of rulings, you must first don the pelt of piety. Wow. You know, nothing says royalty like wearing the living skin of an underling. <laughs> Can I try it? Number eight. Muskate, remove brain, obey. Amazing. I had no idea my skull was threaded for easy access. Quick, press down on the medulla oblongata. Five bucks says he smells burnt toast. Number seven. For your used mattress! Again! Again, again, again! It's no use, pal. I'm afraid we're gonna have to pull the plug. Ah! Well, it's gone on to a better place, Max. I myself draw comfort in the notion that perhaps the Almighty needed Schlock TV even more than we do. That's beautiful, Sam. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to spend some time alone with her. Of course. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna go catch the rest of the show on the Geek Set. Have a nice afterlife! To the lab! Number six. Oh, fine! I was hoping my last Christmas would be spent as an elf-shaped appetizer in a den full of psychotic criminal man-eaters. Don't fret, little pal. They'll probably keep you alive for some time. Number five. So let me get this straight. We can breathe here, then? I guess those prissy paranoid astronauts never had enough spine to try it. Ooh, I could never say that about an astronaut. Number four. We're delivering a heart on Valentine's Day. How fitting. How apropos. Say, Sam, up for a little handball? I hear it's great for the heart. You guys, it's an artificial heart, my latest invention. A fake heart? Even better! And so in keeping with the phony nature of this most special holiday. Number three. Let's not be so hasty, Max. This is a delicate first contact situation with an entirely new life form. It requires a more sensitive form of communication. Check. Expertly handled. I was hoping for a little more hang time on mine. Looks like we'll have to amend the report to include a close encounter with some ornery stumpies. That's tech talk for height deficient ETs. All that physical exertion has caused me to work of a froth. I'm gonna go catch a vertical squirt bath. That's tech talk for shower. Number two. Come on, you big baby. You want a piece of me? Is the big baby gonna cry? Let's see you cry. Daddy's precious little baby's gonna gush like an evangelist. And number one is... 
I never dreamed we could have so much fun and still be suitable for young viewers. Yes, once again, we've stared into the leathery face of death and his second cousin dismemberment and lived to laugh about it. We fell headlong from a moving plane, engaged a murderous horde of vermin savages in an action-packed shoot 'em up and learned a valuable life lesson about friendship or something. Hey, what about the gratuitous blowing up of the local filling station? Well, I'll be. Our work is done here, Max. Let's head for home. Mm -hmm.